What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be heading to New York Comic Con. We're gonna see what we can pick up from the Funko booth. All right, guys, we made it. We're finally here at New York Comic Con, and we're going to be headed right over to the Funko booth. You see Franny and Proto up top in the tower. Freddy waving us on in, and here's what the booth looks like before the madness and after the madness. All these people waiting to get inside the booth. We're going to hop online amongst all the people, get our little piece of paper here. We can mark down which exclusives we want. You just put a little check mark of which ones you want to bring home. You bring it up to the register, and all the Funko employees will diligently grab all the ones off the back shelf that you want. You can see all the exclusives that are available here at the Funko booth at New York Comic Con. So the workers will grab them all off the shelf, bring them over, scan them in, price them out, you'll pay, and they'll give you these really gigantic but great Funko bags. They hold so many pops, they hold all your product, makes it much easier to carry around the con. So you get all your stuff in there and you're ready to go. All right, guys, we are back from New York Comic Con, and what an amazing experience. An amazing time at the Funko booth. It was a super smooth experience. I had a nice early time slot, 10 a.m., so I was able to get in, get out, get all the things I wanted, and I'm going to show those things off to you right now. And the first thing I got was probably my most wanted thing from the con, and probably my most wanted thing from any con this year, and that was this right here, the 500-piece Funko Fusion Dilophosaurus. This pop is so great. As you know, I collect all things like Jurassic Park. So when I saw this and I saw how limited it was, I was like, this is gonna be a tough one to get. But I'm glad I was able to grab it. I just love the look of this. So that was definitely a great pickup for me. I'm very glad to add that to the collection. And the next thing I was able to grab was the Headless Freddy. This pop is amazing as well. They did such a great design on this mold. I wish it did glow in the dark, but other than that, I think they did an excellent job. Really great. Just everything about it looks really, really cool. The head being in his hand, like it's just a really good Freddy. One of the better Freddies for the year. And the next thing I was able to pick up was the 1500 piece flocked animal playing the drums. Love the Muppets. I, have, I was able to grab that Kermit the Frog out at San Diego. So this is a great addition to the set as well. Love the flocking on him. He just looks so good. And I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if you guys noticed the new stickers on here. They are like lenticular. They have the barcode. So these are, I, you know, in person, I think these really do look great. And I'm, I'm happy with the new stickers. And finally, the last pop I was able to grab from the booth was the V Friends Jolly Jacko 1000 piece. And I was able to get it signed by the man himself, Gary V, who was doing appearances all weekend long at Nero Comic Con. This is the first V Friends pop. Gary V is super popular. All his IPs are super popular. So this was a definite pickup for me and I was glad I was able to get it signed. I was able to meet him. He was great. So that was definitely a must for me. Funko Booth also had a couple other items that were not pops and the first one was the biddies. I think these biddies look great. I always try and grab the con biddies and these are no exception. They got the little Freddy as Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Ghost Freddy, the Frankenstein Proto, and the Frankenstein Bride Franny. These just look really cool, so I'm glad I was able to pick those up. You get some little extra things as well. You get a New York City postcard, which I'll put with the other postcards from the cons. That looks really good. And two pins here that we got. This is, you know, the Franny Funko pin here, uh, going along with their Funko Airways theme as well as the Freddy Funko pin going along with the Funko Airways theme as well. And last but not least, what I always try and pick up at the cons is the t-shirt. The t-shirt has a really cool design, says Funko Airways, New York City. They have this really nice design on the back, so always like picking up the t-shirts from the Funko booth. So that was my nice little haul from New York Comic Con. I'm glad I was able to get all the stuff I was looking for, but uh, yeah, overall, just a really great experience this year at New York Comic Con. 
And I almost forgot one thing. Funko always is a really great poster that they give away for free at their booth when you buy something. And this year was no exception as they had a great New York themed poster with Franny, Freddie, and Proto in their Funko Airways attire. So this was also a great addition to the collection as well. So let me know, guys, what your favorite item from New York Comic Con this year was and if you were able to grab anything from the convention. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like the video. And if you don't want to miss any future videos going forward, hit that subscribe button. We just passed 4,000 subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough. Really appreciate it. So, yeah, if you do enjoy the videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.